Hey guys. So, I'm kind of on the tail end of my walk this morning. Abby's still walking. We agreed we'd both get to four miles. We're both tired this morning. She's already hit four. Um, I'm at three and a quarter. Um, it was gonna rain. Still might. We said if it rains, then we go home. Even though I actually don't mind walking in the rain. Hang on one second, people are coming. Um, anyway, my knees are heavy. I think that's the word that describes them right now is that they're heavy, but the first three miles that I was walking over on the trail, um, they felt really loose and uh, like wobbly. So that even though it's like not really like up and downhill, any kind of a slope, um, they just felt really wobbly. And it's because <laughs> yesterday on my walk, I walked three miles because I didn't start until probably noon. I had a scan that I did in the morning and I took Ashley to middle school orientation before that. So it was a really early morning. I think my alarm went off at seven, but I was awake at six. So not getting for a walk until noon. I was like, I, after taking a nap during my scan, I was like, this is gonna be, this is hard. Um, I just, I have to walk first thing in the morning, but I have to hold it with this hand or else I don't count my steps. Um, anyway, so I just said, you know what? I can't do more than this. I need to go home. I need to have some protein. So I went home and had the spaghetti that our wonderful employee made for us and it felt so good. The protein was so good. Anyway, then I took a nap. I probably edited for a couple hours and then I took a nap and went to cheer. But I had arranged with a friend of mine. Um, we have just needed, we realized, we have a lot of things that we wanted to talk about that we didn't previously know. And we're friends, but we've never really connected on a personal level. And she said, let's go for a walk. You're, you're big into that, let's go for a walk. And so, um, but because of kids and cheer and us being moms and whatnot, we ended up just needing to be in her neighborhood so she could be close to home and her kids could just walk out and say, hey mom, I need you. <laughs> um, and her, anyway. So we walked around her neighborhood, just this teeny tiny cul-de-sac loop, not cul-de-sac, it was just a loop through her neighborhood. And uh, we ended up talking, oh, we cried and we laughed and we almost yelled at certain, anyway, it's just a lot of stuff that we're both kind of going through. And uh, <laughs> we walked for two and a half hours we walked until it was dark. We had taken our jackets off because we were sweating to death, even though it was cold, because um, we walked. So I walked five and a half miles. I probably walked a little bit more than that, but I forgot to turn my, my watch on. Um, so for the day, I walked 10 miles, 10 and a half miles yesterday. <sighs> oh, I went to bed at midnight because I had to come home and Jason made me dinner at 11 o'clock. Um, while I took a shower and uh, ate dinner at 11.30, went to bed at midnight. So, Abby, at midnight, she was like, hey, you want to go for a walk in the morning? And I'm thinking, there's no way my legs are going to move tomorrow morning. But they are. They are doing it hard, doing it when it's not easy. It actually feels really good. Um, but I had to come up here to this little trail just up here by the baseball diamonds because the sidewalk is flat and there's it's just sometimes the gravel and the up and down and the boardwalk and it kind of gets to my knees so I needed to just finish off my four miles um, up here and uh, it's nice when it starts to sprinkle when you're down in the trees because you don't get as wet but luckily it's not raining right now so anyway, all of that to 
be said when I got up here and I thought, oh, so it's good to have this weight on me because even though I'm not getting a, what I would call like a faster paced walk, I've been able to do that. Like I've been able to like up my pace, walk faster, get my mile in, you know, in quicker amounts of time. I put upbeat music on or my podcast is more uplifting and I can just walk faster kind of a thing. Um, today I'm going slow just to keep my legs moving. They just need to move. And the weight is helping me feel like, and it is, that I actually am getting a workout. And it's kind of doing the job of me not going faster kind of a thing. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I should just wear this weight set at cheer practice tonight and just walk around with it and just use it as, you know, yeah, I'm not doing the cheers. I'm not running around or I'm not walking a ton, but maybe I should just wear it um, just to, you know, burn the calories. And I might, but um, I was like, ah, it's 12 pounds. And then the 12 pounds just kind of kept kind of screaming in my head. And I was like, this is what it felt like when I was 12 pounds heavier. This is what it felt like to walk when I was 12 pounds heavier. And that burden of weight making it harder to walk. And uh, it's part of what we talked about with my friend last night. Just, you know, having that quite literal weight lifted is making such a huge difference in my abilities to walk and work out. My friend is an avid hiker, avid hiker, loves to hike. And uh, he's getting her kids into it and her husband likes to hike. But um, uh, anyway, she's like, well, we should go hiking together. And I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not a vertical person. I saved that for my husband. I said, but I'm like, I want to, I want to hike with Jason to an extent, but my knees, I don't think will handle it. And I'm not, I don't feel like I've gotten my cardio good enough to be able to go uphill, I guess. This is a long seven minute video, so sorry. We'll keep going with our day, but long story short, I just said, you know what? Let me just get some more weight off of me and strengthen my body, like doing this and my wrist weights. Let me strengthen my body, get some of this weight off of me and then I think it will be easier because I will be built, ready for a hike. And then I think I'll be able to do that better. And she's like, oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. She's like, that's really good. She said I, the exercises she was doing, she's like, they felt like they weren't doing her any good. And, oh, I wonder why I'm doing this exercise. And wonder why I'm lifting the weights the way I'm lifting them, you know. And then she went on a very long like backpacking hike and she realized okay that's what those were for that was preparing me for this now this is easier because I'm feeling those muscles and they're built and they're ready to like you know whether it was like lift the pack or carry the pack or get her up the mountain or whatever it was so pounds off and pounds on to get through this so you guys can do it too one one walk at a time and you know you guys know it started at one a week one a month it really does not matter how often you go in the beginning because every time you go next is that's you went next you went again and you went again so anyway just little motivational for you guys as I'm still struggling to get to my four miles I'm still struggling this morning to get to my four miles but I'm doing it all right it's been a couple hours I have been trying to eat and drink got my water down there um, a ton because I am going to donate blood and I have not donated blood for a very long time because the last time I tried I was anemic and I was not able to um, so hopefully I am not anemic anymore. We shall find out very soon. I almost got a burger <laughs> yesterday or today just to make sure I could donate blood. 
I am late. That's why I'm filming this while I'm driving here. Um, but I didn't, I didn't get a burger yesterday, but let's hope that I am not anemic today. And I can donate. So let's go find out. so good to donate again I just it felt like off that my health wasn't off you know that my health was off and my blood pressure has been like a problem trying to donate plasma and my anemia was getting me from donating blood oh it feels so warm in here I was so cold in there they didn't have anyway they had like the AC on and I had to keep my jacket on and like just pull this sleeve out. I was like, I am so cold. Oh my car feels so warm right now. It'll feel hot in about 2.5 seconds as soon as I get going, but yay, I donated. And in case you guys don't know, I have gotten like my five gallon pin or whatever from donating, <laughs> been donating for that long. This is the longest stretch I've ever gone without donating, aside from like pregnancies and stuff. And um, she was like, oh, it looks like you can donate it again, you know, in October, blah, blah, blah. And there's a, another blood drive at my church, which is a lot closer. Um, <clears throat> and so that was like, oh, I can do it again. And I don't, I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to be nervous about it. I don't know why I'm nervous about donating. It doesn't do anything, but I have the universal blood type. And so it benefits um, a lot of people by me being able to donate. So it makes me feel good. So, uh, that is done, and that's the last, no, I have more, I have more things to do today. I have to go to Target now. Um, we are at a shampoo, conditioner, um, but I might stop over at Costco to get my conditioner because, um, I can get a bigger bottle of it, and for a better price, I don't know. Do I feel like Costco? I just need to go into Costco to get the conditioner because I need to get my prescription. <sighs> What, do I just wait and get my prescription when I go to Costco next? Will they hold it? They'll hold it. I wonder if it says on here if they'll hold it. But I need to go to Costco or I need to go to Target and get because my, my shampoo I can't get at Costco. Um, I have a you know I need the one that kind of I don't know gets the gook out of my hair. But um, I'm going to look at my that's for, where's the Costco one? I wonder how long Costco will hold on to here. Anyway, um, gonna run to Target really quick. Um, and then I'll probably go, get to go home and just relax for a minute. And I have Ashley's cheer tonight. Um, our weeks are long, man. I get to Thursday and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I don't have to coach tomorrow. And that sounds bad because we're only on week two. Um, it'll get a little, it'll get busier with games and we have a jamboree coming up and the high school youth adult, youth like recognition night, which is going to be fun. Um, I think that's going to be Chelsea's first high school game. So I'm kind of hoping she comes to that, um, as like a way to like ease her way into going to high school games because we'll be there and like she can be with her friends, but she can also, you know, come and hang out with us or whatnot. But, um, so lots of fun things coming up for her cheer. So after cheer, immediately after cheer, we're going to go to Jason's dad's house. Ashley and I will be late, um, but he's going to pick up Chelsea after work and take him her over to his dad's house. His aunt and uncle are here from Utah visiting, and we want to go and say hi. I haven't seen them in a couple years. Actually, probably since his mom's, not his mom, my, mom, my mom's passing. Did I see them that weekend? I'm trying to remember. Um... They didn't come to my mom's funeral, but I'm trying to, th I think I've seen them more recently than that, but I haven't. But anyway, we're going to go and say hi to them. His dad is going to have like pizza and, and snacks and things like that for the kids. Um, I'm supposed to bring a side dish to share, but I don't know how to keep it cold in my car from five o'clock basically until almost eight. <laughs> 
because that's how long I'll be at, pr at practice and then driving over to his house. So I don't think I'm gonna bring a side dish, which I think is gonna be fine. But we're gonna do that tonight. Abby has to work. Um, she's probably already at work. Um, all right, I'm gonna, we'll go see what I get at Target. I'm kind of in a roaming mood at Target, which is probably a dangerous thing, but I'm also sick of spending money for like back to school stuff, so <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of like, okay, let's just have a normal credit card bill. Let's, you know, let's not put a ton of stuff. And then I paid for all their high school fees and school fees. And I'm like, well, there goes that next credit card bill. <laughs> it's like, dang it. So what's a little Target run? Just kidding. I, you know I don't spend a ton of money at Target. I'm doing pretty good. Hangers for Ashley. Oreos for the girls tonight. Got ham, sausage, and my conditioner and shampoo and M&Ms for me to snack on. It actually takes me like two weeks to eat a bag like that. So it's just a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of a snack. And then my conditioner, I forgot that we don't have toothpaste and gummy worms for Jacob and then hot dogs for Jacob. Right. <laughs> so late. I forgot we were filming today or I was filming today. I've got all the kids. Well, actually we just have Chelsea and Ashley. Um, I forgot to tell Abby where we were going and like an hour and a half ago. She's like, where are you? It is like 1030. We are at Jason's dad's house well, in his neighborhood um, trying to find our cars. <laughs> Um, but we just hung out with his dad and an uncle who are here in town and then all of Jason's brothers and their families, most of their families. Um, so anyway, we had fun. We had pizza and, what do you call it? Pizza and salad. And just talked and reminisced about their family and whatnot. So it was kind of fun. You can see them all up there, kind of dinking around. Ashley is very tired. I mean, Jason is too, because he's doing a long day at work and then came straight here. Got Chelsea and came straight here, so. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to get any more steps in. But um, anyway, sign off with you guys. Yeah, this is the way, this is, this is what we cut through. Yes, this is the one I, I thought this one was the other one. I went the other, wrong way the other day, like just a minute ago. Anyway, we're gonna sign off with you guys, go home, and uh, start a new day tomorrow. I think Jason has to work tomorrow. He can't even see me anymore. I think our employee needs to take the day off. I literally can't see where I'm going. Um, but anyway, it's fun to see family from Utah because um, we don't see them very often so take care and we will see you guys next time maybe I need a break maybe that's why I fade into this bitter taste I think I'll let it be